Joseph here from Echo for Susan. Today's Go Ready hosting tutorial. I'm going to show you how to upload files using a desktop FTP client, which is a file transfer protocol client, up onto your web. So this is basically a desktop version. We're using FileZilla of uh, GoDaddy's inbuilt file manager. But the reason you want sometimes you need to do it like this if you're trying to upload a file that's too big for their file limit. On GoDaddy, I don't know if it'll actually work by doing this, but on GoDaddy, the file limit you have obviously is uh, uh, 200. 50 megabytes, I believe, which is a huge file limit, and you shouldn't really need to upload anything bigger than that. But if you need to, this is a good way of doing it. Or you want to upload lots of files uh, quickly. Another way, this sometimes can be better using a desktop client than web based clients. So for this, you need to log into your uh, GoDaddy account um, and then you need to get some account details. The first thing you need, for obviously, for up here, your, you need your host name, which in this case, you can use your IP address for your server, uh, the FTP username for your primary FTP account then the same password and the port you can leave blank because the default is 21 so we don't need to put one in so let's go through a bit here so once you've logged into your hosting account load up the hosted details I think first thing you need to copy is over here server details IP address copy that into the host uh, uh, text bo box here then go down to FTP users copy that uh, the one under primary which has access to all the folders in your site copy that username there into the username box and then the password isn't the password you log into your GoDaddy account isn't any other password it's the password just for this FTP so you want to go if you don't know go actions change password and if you do know it just put it in the box and then just leave it and then you want to do is click quick connect obviously I'll put a link to download FileZilla and a couple of the uh, support pages which are actually really handy, although a couple of ones on GoDaddy, this is how to change your FTP username and password, the other one's connecting uh, to your hosting account with FileZilla. There are a couple of documents on there I think they're old because some of them tell you how, tell you that you can do it one way and some tell you that the other leg doesn't work, but anyway, this is the one that works for me at any rate and I've shown you how it works anyway. Also they do have a screen by screen uh, sort of uh, preview thing here, which isn't bad but it doesn't go into very much detail, which is can be a bad thing, so once you've done that Obviously for me I've already connected once so I'm going to abort connection click OK. Once you've um, done it here you have sort of four sort of panels and this fifth one at the bottom. Up here you have uh, details about connections, if things have been listed, errors and so on. Then you have your local site which is your, uh, com your computer which for here starts off at the computer we are going to jump back into desktop and which once you click desktop it will load up or whatever folder you go into on your computer it will load it up here so you can easily um, see what you're looking at, or in my case it will freeze because there is so much on that desktop. And over here you have your remote site, at the moment we're at our root of our remote site, so what it say in my case verified uh, joseph.com, we're at that root so we can view all the things in the root here, and down here we have all the roots, but for this example obviously you can uh, click on a folder, double click on a folder, it'll load up the contents of that folder which in this case is empty. So to upload something you have two choices and also to show you how to download things and rename things on the server. Let's say we wanted to upload um, this image. You can go right click, add to queue if you're already uploading files. You can create a directory on your local host. You can refresh, which will refresh the list of files if new ones have been added, create so, so on. Uh, you can delete, rename all on your local host, all on your system, your own computer, as well as edit and open. So we're going to click upload here. You can also drag things across which will upload. You may have seen at the bottom that did that saying it was uploading, which tells us it's uploading. Once it's uploaded, you have a couple more choices. You can download, add files to the queue of a download, uh, view and edit, create a directory, create a new file, refresh, delete, rename, cop copy uh, URLs to clipboard uh, file permissions. So this will prove that it has actually been uploaded if GoDaddy wants to work for us. Once you've copied that there, sorry that's that's not very helpful, but I can show you that it's been uploaded anyway if I go to images, forward slash link, forward slash that, then get rid of all the FTP bollocks, click on that, as you can see here we have our image, which is a YouTube banner template, but uh, so once you've got that there, from here you can also, the other thing you can do, so let's say we wanted to upload a certain file, a folder, just drag, as I said before, you can just drag across, as it, it's now uploading, so the reason for doing this is it makes life a lot easier. You don't have to keep selecting things and opening new uh, open windows, selecting, doing that. You can just drag stuff from where you want it to be, from where you want it to be. So let's say we wanted to 
download that and replace an existing well just drag it across and it will tell us that we already have files existing we can click override, override if source is newer override if different size and a whole load of different settings we just can click OK uh, uh, apply for current queue only which means it will only overdo this setting for this uh, current setting so we just can click OK there and it will override all of them doing our download there also you can edit when you edit on here it will upload it will open the file with your set if it's an HTML file, you'll set text editor or whatever you have set. For me, it'll be Notepad++. Plus plus. And what it'll do, every time you save it, it will re-upload a new version, which is quite nice. So it's always been update. So, but the problem with that, of course, if you make an error, and for some reason your site stops working, it'll be live before you know there's an error, which is not very helpful. So the idea of doing Filezilla is to make life a bit more easy and more user-friendly, although Filezilla isn't the world's best FTP client, but it is free. There are other ones out there that aren't free, like Smart FTP, which isn't free, but it is better in my opinion. So, guys, that was a quick rundown on how to connect FileZilla, how to upload, download, and do basic stuff with it. Again, I'll put the help documents in the description, along with some other useful stuff. Obviously, the uh, re previous playlist and stuff so on the right remember to check out the previous playlist and the previous video uh, uh subscribe you want to see more video more GoDaddy help hosting videos like this um remember to follow us on facebook and twitter and i'll see you around in the next video